I was the head, am the first woman ever elected in the history of Haddonfield as an elected official. Mm -hmm. And I, I found that fascinating because Haddonfield was founded by a woman, Elizabeth Haddonfield. <laughs> <laughs> years ago, next year, but there had never been a woman to run for office in Haddonfield. And I'm often asked, uh, I think it's a dumb question, Diane, you'll probably agree with me, what, what do you think your legacy is going to be? And, and at first I think, who thinks about their legacy, really? <laughs> But my legacy was the day I was elected as the first woman. Mm -hmm. sure. And I have made it a, a purposeful thought to be around all the young women in my town, to see me work, to see me show up at every activity and event, because I want them to know that they can do the same thing. I spent 32 years as the professional advisor to a student public relations society at Rowan University. And my family always was much very intent on giving back, giving back. And I thought I was really blessed to have been able to have a really good education. And the students there were really students who did not have the opportunities I did. And it was absolutely an incredibly wonderful 32 years. The, the most enjoyable seminar I, I did for the students, and I still do, is right before their, uh, their interviewing season for jobs, I go down and I do a dining etiquette seminar and we talk about the forks and the spoons and the glasses and you know how to put the, the napkin and shaking hands and we practice shaking hands and it's really fun and the students absolutely love it and I get a kick out of it and so even though I'm not the advisor to them anymore, I, I uh, retired 30, uh, two years ago, I still go back and I do that seminar and it's just a, a lot of fun. When I speak to um, college students on a regular basis, they'll come in for like an informational background or session or phone calls and they just want to pick my brain and just see what it's like to be you know, in the PR field to see, get an idea of what direction they should head, head into. So I'm always happy to you know, share my advice or experiences yeah. with them to help guide them throughout the process. Is there one piece of advice that you give all of them? Um, I always tell them to make sure they get an internship because now, for the most part, people have a degree. So you want to be able to make yourself as marketable as possible. Mm -hmm. So you want to get that experience. I tell them to have a great work ethic. Mm -hmm. And third, I tell them don't worry about the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see, I see, yeah. It feels like um, students graduate and they have this false sense of what their starting salary yeah. should be. Yeah. And yeah. I just tell them the money will come. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Just yeah. work, get your it's experience, true. put your time in, mm -hmm. and don't leave at 5 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a great line.